Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Master 15 here. And slow down a little bit. It's your boy Master 15 here. So I said that pretty dang fast, but I'm really excited to, to do this Pokemon Emerald randomized Nuzlocke. It doesn't say that on the screen anywhere, but who cares, right? It's Nuzlocke challenge. Basic Nuzlocke challenge are you can only catch the Pokemon on the the very first Pokemon on each route. If a Pokemon faints, it is considered dead, and you have to box or release. I will box it because at the end. I will do a special video showcasing all of them. Uh, you must nickname every Pokemon to get that bond so you don't try to kill it. And basically that is the rules. Randomized Nuzlocke, I randomize everything from the Pokemon you find. The types of, like the type of the Pokemon. So like uh, Charmander could be a dark type, it could be a water type. It could stay fire, but the type. Uh, the move types have changed. The moves that Pokemon will know will be random. Um, the Pokemon the trainers have will be random. Almost everything will be random. You know what they say won't, well, because I don't want to change script and stuff, but let's go ahead. Let's get into the game here. I am a... Uh, I'm pretty excited for this. We're gonna go to option. I wanna keep it on mid, battle scene on, set sound, LA, and boom. That's how I wanna roll. And let's start. So there's Birch. Good old Birchy Birch. His name is Birch. It's a belief. I love bay leaf. It's my bay leaf. You know, when you get mad, bay leaf. You know, hey, bad, terrible Pokemon puns. I know, I know. Me, I am a male, obviously. I mean, it's not obviously, but if you can't tell by my voice, I am a male. And my name is Mast. Yes, my name is Mast. Moving the little roots. I am moving the little roots. Why, thank you. Thank you very much. He'll be expecting me once we go to his lab, where he touches all the little boys. Because that's what he's into. Touching little boys. Uh, right on time. Called it. Now comes mom. She's gonna talk to us. We already know. It. If you haven't played this game, it was Gen 3, the Triterry game. I believe it came out after the remakes of Kanto and, uh, and uh, of Kanto. Basically, you had Fire Red and Leaf Green, and then I believe this one came out. Uh, I believe I was in the fifth grade when this one came out. No, I was fourth. Maybe I was third. I don't know. I can't remember. It was so long ago. I'm 20 years old now and I still play Pokemon. But that's fine. Or at least that's fine to me. Other people may not see that's fine. It is currently 12.45 here. Of the PM. Move everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll come over here. Item storage. We'll draw item. Potion. The potion. She's gonna tell me to hurry. Man, I'm just calling this. It's like it's like I've played it before. But yeah, I've spent so much time in this game, but the game I've spent the most time in is Silver. That is the first game I beat. I did start in Gen 1. I started with Red, but I was 5 years old when I got Red version. Because I was 5, I didn't fully understand that I had to go through Lavender Cave, like the Dark Cave, to get to Lavender Town. And, like, so I would just restart constantly. And I would only use one Pokemon at the time. Like, I only leveled up my Bulbasaur. Yes, I started with Bulbasaur. I am proud of that. Bulbasaur for life. Pick Bulbasaur in X and Y. And it was like, oh, Charizard gets his own. Nah. Bulbasaur fam. Straight Bulbasaur. But. You know. 
Uh, I couldn't beat it. Then I got silver when I was like seven. And it was more straightforward. So I, I was able to beat silver. I spent so much time in that because my first my first level 100 Pokemon was for alligator. I love for alligator. Oh, I need to go this way. For alligator is just like one of my favorite Pokemon. Not my mascot. Uh, my mascot is me and Shell, but that is gonna change. I plan on changing it to a Magikarp here soon because uh. I just, I really love the concept of Magikarp, worthless fish Pokemon, and it makes me funny. Alright, so we have Sandshrew, we have Ninkata, and we have Omnimite, which is the Spiral, the Trainee, and the Mouse. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go with Sandshrew, just because Sandshrew is just a lot cooler, in my opinion, than other Pokemon so got my boy Sandshrew Zigzagoon has Sandstream Ooh, all right we're gonna take this time to check out my Sandshrew psychic normal type it has guts which is awesome it has a moonstone nice and it knows flame wheel which is a fighting type move that's nice yo Sandshrew do you know Haas? Oh, it's not very effective. And it knows Luster Purge. Super effective. So it's probably Dark type. I buff. This is a Goom buffs. Oh man, this is a fight to the death here. It's gonna be a long battle because. Zigzagoon obviously has the advantage with a super effective move. Man, this makes me think it has to be Psychic. It could be Bug. It could be Bug. But now we know Zigzagoons are not cool in this game. Don't want Zigzagoons at all. But knows Luster Purge, and if you do not know, Luster Purge, I believe, is Latios's signature move. Since some rages, and down goes little Sand Shrew. Oh no, I live. All right, get a crit here, Sand Shrew. Come on, RNG. Damn. Oh, it fled. Oh, why didn't it kill me? It could have killed me. It took pity on me. Huh. It may have just been a fixed. I received the sand shoe. Yo. I am going to nickname him. In favor of my uh, good friend Kurt. And call him God Slash. He may not even evolve into a sand slash. You hitting the wrong button. Huh. Every time. But we're gonna call him God Slash. There he is, God Slash. Make sure S L A S H. Yep. Ah. Oh, now I hit the right button. All right, I'm gonna go battle May. I believe she probably would have got the Ninkata. Ninkata's probably going to be a lot tougher than me. Did he heal up my Pokemon? Cool. Received the Moonstone from my boy God Slash. Oh, that guy got in the way. Alright. I am going to have to like level up here though, because uh, God Slash is a little weak, it seems. So we got some Igwe buffs up in here. That could be a potential Pokemon in this route. And it knows Drizzle. It's a good thing this is a fighting type attack. It's super effective. That does decent. It knows Flatter. Now I'm confused. Special attack Rose. And I became confused. 
Maybe we both with Drizzle. Come on, Gut Slash. Nice. See, now the special physical split didn't happen until Gen 4. Therefore, this is a fighting type. Since it is a fighting type, it means it is a physical type move. Whereas, if it was fire, it'd be special. Meaning that it would be a plus 6 flame wheel. But because it is fighting type, it is a physical move. Therefore, it does not get any of those boosts that Eggly Buff just gave me. I wonder how much experience this Igly buff is going to give me. Igly buff gave me 16. That's garbage, Igly buff. I need a train. I need some trainage. I need to grind. Weedle. So we can find Weedle in this route. Now Weedle evolves at level 7. I hope the evolutions... Oh, we don't get trace. Not bad. Ancient power. Ooh. Now keep in mind all the moves are different typings as well. So we don't want to be bad to have on the strat. And he got the boost. Now I really do hope the evolutions are randomized. Like, if not. I don't think the like the option says it was like that, but it could have not been. I could have been mistaken. So this episode, we're gonna go ahead and battle May, and we will call that an end to this episode. Actually, no, we'll we'll catch our very first Pokemon, and then we'll call it an end to the episode. But yeah, uh, right now it's kind of like a slow point. So, I'm gonna ask you a good old question if anybody watches this. Of course they do. I mean, I'm mass rated. Everybody watches my videos. But, uh, with Sun and Moon coming out, time we're recording this is early May, like, really early May. I believe it's May 4th. It could be the 5th. It is the 4th. What type of Pokemon would you like to see? Would you like, like me personally, I would love to see another GOAT Pokemon. You know, goat is my favorite animal. But I'd also like to see a bear. I would love to see a bear. Like, for starters. I'm talking about starter-wise. You know, th those are the kind of starters I want. You know, I want a bear. I want a goat. You know, those are those. Those would be really cool. So we can find a Wismer. So nothing too overpowered here. Flame Wheel. Please be weak. Nice. One shotted. That's what I like to see. God slash guy in 29. He's gonna be a butt to level up. Alright, so we got May. See, I believe she has Ninkata. She should have Ninkata. Alright, so there we see the Ninkata. Please be weak to my flame wheel. Neutral. I know it's Meteor Mash. Please resist it. No. And it hits harder than me. Well, that's disappointing. It hits a lot harder than I do. Like, I'm dead next hit. And I'm supposed to be defensive. Oh, it's Magical Leaf. Please resist it. Nah, dead. Dang it. Ninkata is better than Sanshu. Alright, we're gonna definitely have to hit up the grinds. No, hit up them. Hit up that grind so I can hit harder. I need to check my, my nature. What nature did I get? I'm quiet nature. I believe that's special defense minus attack. Oh my god, I am a special attacker, and I have a physical move. Oh, man. That's right, I randomized the base stats as well. 
Oh man, if that was a if it was a true fire type attack, it'd be so good. All right, so now we see Zubat, it's Flame Wheel, and it resists it. Oh man, knows revenge. I gotta run away. I gotta fight Wismers. I have to fight Wismers, basically. I gotta grind up on them Wismers. Zubat will demolish me. Kaskin's not bad. But it's probably going to resist my, my flame wheel as well. Nah, it's neutral. Slash. Let's see, psychic normal, I would be weak to dark type goat. Actually, no, I can't be hit by ghost. I would be weak to. Dark. Can't be touched by ghosts. Uh, neutrally hit by fighting. And bug. I'd also be weak to bug. I didn't mean to jump in that. And it's a Zubat. It's a Zubat. And I haven't even leveled up. Man, this is terrible. You know, I'm just gonna use a potion. Just use a potion. Oh man, that means I lost money too, like... Man, I'm gonna be broke as well. Ooh, Pidgey! I love Pidgey Spriteness. Come on, be weak to my flame wheel. Yes. O code it. So Pidgeys and Wismers, I can beat up on. I might have to get to at least level 7. Or learn a new move. I learned Sweet Kiss. God slash, that's garbage. Why would you learn Sweet Kiss? It's a ground type. May cause confusion. Oh, God slash. Terrible. I mean, at least I got a good ability with Guts, so if I ever get poisoned or anything, or burned, just hit him up. And we can find Metapod, so there's all sorts of Pokemon on each route. And knows Heat Wave. Oh, and super effective. Down goes the Metapod. Nice. I only get 20 experience. God, I'm getting like no experience. Use that last potion up. Battle May. I'm gonna have to use Sweet Kiss. Oh man, if her Nikata beats me here, we'll have to like grind up off screen and just. No. Next episode, get her. This is like, honestly, the slowest episode I have done so far. Okay. So she has Ninkata still. Still has that Ninkata. Alright, sweet kiss. And I landed. Alright, Ninkata is now confused. Hit itself. No. Still hit me with a Meteor Mash. And I got the attack raise. Yo, not cool. And I still can't hit him at all. Hit yourself. Magical leaf. I'm gonna lose in this Ninkata again. Hit yourself, please. Game. Thank you. Oh, this flame wheel should kill it now. This flame wheel should kill it now. Uh, kill itself. Come on, game. The magical leaf never misses. Uh, every time. Like I said, we may have to go to level seven. All right, let's go down here. Grind up on some stuff. Got some metapods. 
Got some Metapods. I can I know I can beat Metapod. But he just doesn't give any experience. Oh yeah, that's right. And he has super effective moves. Oh my goodness. I can lose to a level 3 Metapod. This Nuzlocke's gonna be hard. I chose the wrong Pokemon. I chose the wrong Pokemon. I should have chosen Nikata, but I was like, no, Nikata's stupid. Whooper! Another favorite of mine, because he evolves into the Dark God himself, Quagsire. Oh, that's super effective. Thank God. Only gave me 14, though. Oh, this is going to be so hard. Not twisty at all. Not twisty at all. Igglybug. Bring him back out, God Slash. Come on, God Slash. Do as what your name says. Kick its butt. Nice crit, man. Nice crit. 16 experience. Togepi. Not going to give me any experience at all. And... Okozum. Nice. Nice city, nice. 21. That's terrible, man. My emulator is starting to slow down. Why, emulator? Why must you do this to me? Come on, we have to at least beat May in this episode. Take it on them wheels. They know agent power. Oh, and I burned him! But he has guts now! <laughs> He activated my guts. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I lost to a Weedle. I lost to a Weedle, guys. God, I'm so garbage. Sandshrew is not helping at all. Sandshrew, you're good. You're good. You're good. But you're not good. You're not good at all. It breaks my heart that you're not good. You need to learn a better move fast. A special attacking move. Because you got a high special attacking stat. Back out to Wooper. Down goes the Whooper. So close, so close. I may not, unless it's like a Caterpie or <laughs> Metapod, I may not get an encounter for the first group. So we see God Slash coming out. Still Slash. And the Flame Wheel. Alright. Now we're finally level 7. So high special attack. Why are you... Oh, man. It's like, yeah, we're gonna make him very specially offensive. We're gonna give you physical moves. Not cool at all, game. Not cool at all. Hopefully we can beat May now that we're level 7. We are a little bit stronger now. We are a little bit stronger now. Okie doke. Gonna have a quick battle. Freezes all the time. Like, the battles always run smoothly.
just gonna hit him with the flame wheel. God, I still do nothing. And he still hits me so hard. I need the game to help me out here. Oh, he missed. Thank God. I need a crit. Come on, Sancho. He snaps out, really? That does only does five. So I'm guaranteed to live at least two more hits, regardless of what he hits me with. So it's Meteor Mash. I could kill him here. Hopefully. Hopefully I kill him here. Sanju! Oh my god. Sanju. You're so garbage, Sanju. Garbage. You're not helping me at all here, bud. I'm gonna try that again. So I know for a fact his Meteor Mash does 6 damage, his Magical Leaf does 5. Got a Pidgey here. Speed up on some Pidgeys. The game has not helped me at all. Pidgey, since we didn't have Sandstream the last time. Be tripping, man. They be tripping. Go down. Thank you. Have a quick battle, give me a taste of what trainers like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's your Ninkata. Screw your Ninkata. Maybe I can get a burn. Meteor Mash. a five hit KO and he does a four hit KO. Oh, he got the attack boost. I gotta go for a sweet kiss and hope he hits himself. Gotta hope he hits himself. Yes! Oh! Baby. Maybe I can finally win. Maybe I can I finally beat this Ninkata. And 69 experience didn't even. Oh man. Sand Slash is gonna take forever to level up. Oh man, guys. This this recording. Whew. Anyways, guys, that is it. That is the first episode. So many deaths. So many deaths. I'm just glad the Nuzlocke didn't even start, man. Which is about to start, and I am really afraid because Sand Slash is just fucking everything up, man. Anyways, guys, I'm Master Raider 15. Thank you all for watching. I'm out. Peace.